Hey guys, I'm Angel and I am doing a video on a Friday because I feel moved to. So I'm just gonna start and just say, you know, the person that I've been having the hardest time, you know, like having a relationship with is my daughter. And it's just because she's so much like me. You know, like when I was a kid and I forgot, you know, how joyful and happy I once was and it's just been hard, you know, knowing that when I was down and shit stuff, sorry, I'm trying to wipe my mouth, um, when I was down, like, I pushed her away because I didn't know how to deal with myself. So I thought what was best for her, you know, would, would be moving in with her dad. I never asked her. And I never thought about the emotion and like the anger she she would feel towards me, you know, because I didn't ask, you know, I just did it because I, what I thought was best, you know, and we were having a conversation one time and she's just like, you know, pouting and being a little girl, you know, I thought she's trying to drive me crazy, but she ends up telling me that I hate her. And, you know, every time I, she tries to give me love and affection, you know, I push away, I don't do, Basically, I don't give her the same affection that I do Elijah. And, you know, it kind of hurt me because I was never allowed to express myself like that to my mother, I believe, because my mom definitely was just raised different, very strong, no emotions you don't we we don't need to feel those you don't need to be in those you know but i just never thought that the little tedious things that i do would hurt her you know and make her question you know love and all that stuff it's just this experience that I've been having has just definitely opened my eyes up to so many things like I don't know how to do better I don't know how to be a mother I'm just learning as you know the days go by figuring it out but she wasn't wrong she told me exactly how she felt, you know? And for my child, it's just a hard pill to swallow when your child tells you that you're hurting them the things you're doing and my depression you know it affected her too like i was so consumed with my own life and the mother i thought that she needed to, she needed i never asked her i just I just want the best relationship I can with her because I now realize that I'm gonna be her first friend, you know? I'm gonna be, it's me, bro. <laughs> I can make her just like me, a sad, 
angry, scared person. And it's just like, wow. How do I, me, tell this little girl, you are so beautiful. You are so kind and you are so smart. But then be the same person, you know, that's in her room depressed and sad and not telling myself the things that I'm telling her to tell herself and it's just I'm so lost I just did the best I could like these are happy tears guys these aren't sad tears like I'm happy it's just marinating in the sauce you know it's just it's a lot it's a lot for me to take in i just i have to do better and making these videos makes her happy because i definitely cannot make them when she's here and she cannot watch the videos when not you know i'm sitting right in front of her because she says they make her cry i'm making her proud <laughs> that makes me happy because I just want a life that I can be proud of. Like I want to be a person that not only tells her all these things to do, but I actually do it, you know? I think I'm strong. I'm stronger than I actually say. And I just never knew why God made me so strong and so angry, you know? But it's so that I could get to this point. Like, I have spent so many years just running from my emotions, not dealing with things, and just, I'm learning. And I pray for everyone because not easy this is not easy what I'm going through it's just it's it's worth it to me I have nothing to go back to like I cannot go back to being that person because she hates me she literally hates me me I'm talking about myself I hate myself so much that I could kill myself not intentionally like you know the suicide it's just like living a life of just that's not for me would essentially kill me kill my my hopes kill take my mind you know you guys know i'm still figuring this out this is not what i'm supposed to do like according to me you know i feel like i'm not worthy to do what God asked me to do, but I'm gonna make myself worthy. I'm going to, anytime I feel moved to make a video or say something, I'm gonna say it because I'm so tired of talking myself out of things. Like, why can't I be happy? Why can't I, why can't I have these things that everybody else has, you know? Like, I want so much out of this life. So much for my kids. My purpose. I still haven't quite figured out what that is yet, but when I do, I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna always keep you guys in tune with everything that's going on because I'm definitely still figuring this out. And I just know that without God, Without him, constantly, me reading the word, listening to the word, I just know that I don't like it. I don't like how I feel. I don't like, I don't like it. <clears throat> and I just, I'm human. It took me a long time to realize that, that I'm a human being, but I'm a human. I'm figuring this out, man. And my videos a little scattered, you know, all over the place. But I just, 
I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so you know how I end my videos. We're just gonna do a moment of silence to just breathe in the breath of God, the breath of life, whatever you wanna call him, I don't even care, just breathe. Okay, I'm gonna start now. Okay, you guys all have a blessed and beautiful day, and God loves you, I love you. Stay happy, stay praying. I'm praying for you even if you're not praying, so bye guys.